Hi, I'm Alex from Happy Moose, and today I'm going to show you how to use the free Snapseed app to remove shadows from your photos. Let's start it by having a look at the photos we'll be working on. Here's a photo. You can see that the light comes in from the right, and then this part of Mia's face is a little bit too dark, and I like to lighten it up. Let's click the pen icon on the bottom right to bring up the menu. As you can see, we have many tools to choose from. And today, we're going to use the selective tool here. The idea of the selective tool is that we can select an area to make changes without affecting other parts of the image. It's a pretty simple tool. And here are the three steps to use it. The first step is to select the center of the area. When I touch a screen, a B shows up. This little dot shows where the center is. You can swipe up and down to choose different kind of changes you want to make. B for brightness, C for contrast, and S for saturation. Today we are going to use only the brightness tool. If you want to be very precise about where the center is, long press the B icon. You'll see a magnifier glass showing up. Normally, it's a good idea to focus on the eye, so that's where we'll put it. Step number two, specify the size of the area. To do this, you need two fingers to pinch. The circle is the area that will be affected by the changes we are going to make. Snapseed uses the red color to indicate the strength of these changes. The closer to the center, the more significant the effect will be. Now, if your photo has lots of details, you want to put many little dots and select a much smaller area for each dot for final control. For this photo though, the default is pretty good, so we'll just use that. Let's look at the last step, and this is where the magic happens. When I swipe my finger from left to right, notice the label that's coming up. As I swipe further and further, you see that Mia's face gradually lightens up. We'll tab the top, this icon on the top right to preview the change. Before, after, before, after. Now looks like we'll we can use a little bit more brightness. Let's increase it to say 45 before, after, before, after. That looks just about right. I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm just gonna click the check icon on the bottom right to close the editor. After you make the changes, remember to save it back to your camera roll. As you can see, because we use the, use the selective tool, the rest of the photo remains the same. So there you go, that's how easy it is to remove the shadows from the face. If you have any photos you would like me to take a look, um, please email it to me at hello at happymoose.nz. Um, take care, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye.